The opiate addiction problem continues to get worse in western New York, and now the University at Buffalo is playing a prominent role in training doctors to better help addicts. But some feel there are still too many health professionals ignoring the problem. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley explains. In the United States, we consume 95% of all the hydrocodone in the world. And we don't have 95% of pain problems here. In a nation plagued with an increasing number of opiate overdoses, naloxone has become the life-saving drug responsible for keeping countless people alive. Treatment is important, but we're never going to be able to treat our way out of this epidemic. But according to Dr. Richard Blondell from the UB Center for Addictive Medicine, too many people wrongly view naloxone as the cure. It's important to save lives, but we really, really have to prevent people from getting addicted in the first place. Here here in New York State, 100,000 community members have been trained to use naloxone, and the state has spent over $5 million to purchase the drug. But as you can see from this graph, naloxone is treating the problem at the end, and Dr. Blundell believes more needs to be done to treat the problem further up the chain of addiction. I've heard stories of people being rescued two or sometimes three times in a single day. Clearly, once somebody needs a Narcan rescue, that's a cry for help. UB is now working to set up fellowship programs across the U.S. and Canada to train physicians to become addiction specialists. And you have to take the long view. Invest now for returns later. There are medicines that can be used to block a person's craving for opiates, but they're not being widely used because of money, politics, and procedures. Oftentimes there's a lot of hoops I have to jump through to get through pre-authorization, and many times I can't get it approved anyway. It's a huge disincentive. It's it's called rationing by inconvenience. Experts blame an excess of prescription painkillers in homes for causing a lot of people to get addicted in the first place, especially young people. Now to get rid of some of that medicine, next weekend, April 30th on Saturday, the city of Buffalo is conducting a citywide collection. You can drop off all your old medicine at Buffalo State College. Live in the newsroom, Ed Riley 7 Eyewitness News.